Guys, welcome to Men's Grooming Advice, and today we're going to be discussing how to choose the best shaving product for you. From foams, creams... Hey, sorry, you can't come in here while I'm filming. Uh, excuse me, who, who are you? We come from Gillette, brings you something to make you all better. Something it wants, something it needs. We need you to use the Gillette products. Tell the people so they can all be friends. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Take it. Yes, take it. Take the precious. Why would I want to use this garbage? Don't you like it? Don't you need it? Makes you better man it will. Fuck off. Sorry about that guys. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, right, shaving products. Wet shaving is about as manly as it gets with a traditional shave and sophisticated air that can make you feel like James Bond. Yes, I know Pierce Brosnan used an electric shaver in Die Another Day, but that was a god awful Bond movie and thankfully Daniel Craig is back to wet shaving. A huge number of guys see wet shaving as a chore, particularly if they have to shave every day, and I can sympathize with that. Years ago, when I was using cheap shaving foam and a so-so razor, it annoyed me so much that for a time I even considered if I should have laser hair removal treatment so I never had to shave again. Luckily I didn't go down that route, but since then I've found shaving to be one of the most consistently pleasurable moments of my day, and I want to make sure it is for you too. Do you currently struggle to get a decent shave? And what products are you currently using? Let me know in the comments below. The perfect shave is achieved with a quality shaving product, brush, razor and technique, topped off with a suitable post-shave product. I'll be looking at these last four elements in separate videos, but today I shall be helping you choose the perfect shave product for you. So let's get started. There is a lot of options, bar, foam, gel, oil, soap and cream. First off, let's get the obvious out of the way, and that's a bar of soap. Yes, it's technically possible to use a bar of soap as your shave product, but it's also technically true that urine is sterile and you can drink it. But would you want to? Many years ago, in the military, I had times when I had no option but to rub a soap bar on my face and scrape away the beard with a third pattern all black blade and cold water. The result looked like I'd fallen asleep on the grass and been run over by a lawnmower, so I'd regularly go weeks or two between shaves. Shaving foam. Shaving foam became available in the 1950s and dominated the men's shaving market for years. Its appeal was obvious, instant lather from the can, which was generally very cheap. The foam is created by pressurised air in the can and that's the first problem. The air makes the foam look good but it stops the foam from lifting the hairs prior to shaving. They also have a high alcohol content which can cause dryness of the skin which is the last thing you want. If you have a can of shaving foam, then frankly the best place for it is in the bin. Seriously, if you're using a foam, even if you change nothing else in your shaving routine, ditching the foam will be a big improvement. Shaving gel has taken a large part of the shaving foam market over the last few years, and this is in part due to many brands advertised as being for sensitive skin. And while the addition of aloe vera or similar can help with skin irritation, most gels have a similar base and the reliance on alcohol that foams do. They feel slick in use, but as they are smeared across the top of the hairs, they do very little to raise the hairs, and I don't recommend them. They are useful, however, with body shaving, if that is something you do. And if you're set on the gel, the only one that I currently rate is Nivea Men's Sensitive Shaving Gel, as that contains zero alcohol. Shaving oil is a strange one. It certainly has its fans and has proved the staple product for companies like King of Shaves, but it's never been enough for me. The oil provides slickness over the top of the hair and does a great job of avoiding skin nicks and scratches, but at the cost of a closed shave. I've also tried using shaving oils as a pre-shave before using a cream. I can't honestly say I noticed any difference other than the blade got clogged faster and was hard as a clean between strokes. If you haven't tried one but want to, they are just a few pounds from major drugstores and so not too costly as an experiment. Are you currently using a shaving oil? Do you get on well with it? If so, leave a comment below about the product you use and how you get on with it. Shaving soap. Now we're moving away from the cheapest and least rewarding products to the one that every wet shaving guy should be trying. Here I'm talking about the hard soaps that need working up to a lather with a shaving brush and hot water. If you have a shave mug, you can buy round puck shaped bars that are designed to drop into the bottom and build up lava from there. You can also buy a soap and dish set, like the excellent ones by GOF Trumper. You buy a smart wooden bowl and soap insert for £20, which lasts months, and then buy replacement soaps 
for just £10. I've used their products on and off for years and I highly recommend them. By far the most common are the plastic tubs or metal tins from the likes of Perozo or Edward Jaeger. With quality brands starting from as little as £7, they are super affordable and can last up to six months, even with daily use. At this price point, you can easily build up a small collection of different scents and brands just to mix things up from time to time. There are a range of common scent types, with sandalwood, menthol and lime being the most popular. In my opinion, a guy can never go wrong with the earthy and masculine smell of sandalwood. Saving shapes do take more work with a brush to get a high lather compared to creams, so you should keep that in mind if you're constantly in a rush or not particularly patient. But we're only talking a couple of minutes work here guys, and the effort is worth it. Traditional solid soaps like GOF Trumper take the most work, where some other brands of soaps are also referred to as cropes, meaning they are softer and a midpoint between soap and cream, making them easier to lather faster. Perozo are actually cropes. You use a brush that has been sat in very hot water and then shaken out to load the brush with soap. Interestingly, I recently read that when loading a badger hair brush, you should use side-to-side -side movement and not circular, as the constant twisting motion twists the hairs together, forcing them to break over time. That said, I've always used a circular motion. I've never seen a barber or any other YouTube content creator do anything else. Once the brush is loaded, you then swirl it for a minute or two in a bowl with a few drops of hot water to make a perfect cream. If you're just starting out and don't want to spend money on a specifically designed bowl, you can use an old drinks mug or even the lid of the soap itself. It's worth mentioning that it's easier to lather soap in a soft water area than it is a hard one. With a little work, shaving soaps give a silky smooth covering to the beard for multiple passes and an amazing finish. My personal recommendation would be Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Soap. Shaving creams are that little slice of daily indulgence that start your day on a positive note. They're very similar to shave soaps, but take very little work to provide a rich indulgent that makes shaving a real pleasure. I have at least a dozen different soaps and creams, and I'll swap them around depending on how the feeling takes me on the day. But when I want to the best possible experience, I will always use a cream. It makes the process feel that little bit more special and can put you in the best possible mood when getting ready for something important, be that a date, a job interview, or whatever. If you have yet to try a quality shave cream, you need to do so. Think of it as a daily treat that you deserve. I would recommend True Fit and Hills Authentic Number no. 10 Finest Shaving Cream as a great place to start. So in truth, it comes down to a choice of soap or cream. Either product is head and shoulders above aerosol cans of Gloop and work perfectly with safety razors or cartridge razors, with cream being my personal favorite. Have you already found a perfect soap or cream? If so, leave your recommendations in the comments below so the rest of the guys can read it. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If so, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. I produce new videos every week, so make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. My name is Bear Clark, and I'll see you again real soon.